All right, all right. I think that did it. So we're just gonna give people a couple of minutes uh, to join us. But for those that are listening to this on the podcast or watching this on YouTube, I say welcome to the Sacred Pathway Academy podcast with me, Allison Rozelle, spiritual liberation coach. I'm also a Yusui Reiki master healer and teacher. Move that back. I do a little adjustments here. <laughs> And so today we are wrapping up um, talking about the chakras. If you want more in-depth teachings, then I would say um, it would behoove you to go to the link in my bio here on Instagram. Or if you're listening to this on the podcast or um, uh, watching this on YouTube, the link is in the description or show notes or whatever it is um i'm a little fresh face today no makeup i put a little powder on so i wouldn't shine like new money but yeah no makeup today <laughs> just wasn't in the mood so i decided to go au natural so to speak um which is why i have the earrings on that say naturally dope ah ah yeah <laughs> Because I am, and so are you. So, we're continuing our talk, and we are talking about the crown chakra. The crown chakra, the the connecting point for you and spirit. Yes, the crown chakra is at the top of your head, if you did not know that. Interestingly enough, when we're born, we have that soft spot on the top of our head and that soft spot represents where spirit entered the body <laughs> and interestingly enough when we take our last breath spirit leaves the body in that same way so Just shuffling the cards so we can see what we need to know about the crown chakra this week. And I'm using the daily crystal, daily, yeah, daily crystal inspirational deck. Um, this has been a go-to deck for me. Um, and I really enjoy this deck because I'm learning a lot from the crystals that I pull. Um because I'm not very, um, I'm not a crystal aficionado as of yet. <laughs> so I bought this deck to kind of help myself out, but I didn't realize how much I was going to fall in love with this deck. I mean, it's the bomb. I love it. And yes, I said it, it's the bomb. <laughs> Let's see what we need to know so we can get on with the get on talking about the crown chakra. Ooh, I like it. Turquoise. Prioritize your health. Prioritize your health. Now you may be like, but what exactly does that have to do with the crown chakra well <laughs> so the crown chakra is part of the spirit portion of the chakra so you got seven chakras and they're split up into three sections you've got the matter which are the lower chakras which is root sacral and solar then you have the bridge, which is the heart chakra. And then you have spirit, which is the throat chakra, third eye, and crown. Protect, what did it say? Protect your health? Is that what that said? Let's go back. Prioritize your health. So to me, this very well could be talking about your spiritual health. Because that is health that a lot of us take for granted. And we don't 
We don't prioritize it. We don't think about it. It's not at the forefront. We take it for granted, pretty much like we take our physical health for granted. But what if you were to prioritize your spiritual health? What if you were to prioritize your connection, your relationship with spirit? How would that turn your life around? First, do you have a relationship with spirit, with God, with Jehovah, with Jah, with Yah, with Oladamade, with uh, what's another name? We've got so many names with the Lord, with... <laughs> I mean, there's so many names with Allah, you know. What relationship do you have with the creator? And then what relationship do you have with your higher self, your spirit self? So let me just say this. When I went on my spiritual journey, I went on the journey initially to find myself because I didn't know who I was. I didn't really have... A relationship with myself I didn't really know much about me never took the time to really establish too much of who I was because my priority was my son so I was mommy for those 18 years especially while he was in school I was mommy I, my my life my rising and setting was being a mother no regrets I don't regret it but when he graduated from high school and he went into his transition of childhood going into early manhood that's when stuff started going off in me like okay what do we do now because I've had 18 years of get up, get ready for school. Mom, I need lunch money. Mom, I need uh, you to sign the permission slip so we can go here and do this. Mom, I got football practice. Mom, I need this for orchestra. Mom, uh, can so-and-so come over for a sleepover? You know, Mom, what are we doing for my birthday? Mom, you know, all of those things. And don't get it twisted. I enjoy, enjoyed that part of motherhood. You know, I complained about it, but I loved it. It was so me and so part of me. My son was everything to me. But I forgot me in that whole equation. I never factored me in. So I didn't have a relationship with myself. I had ideas of things that I wanted, things that I wanted to do, things I wanted to try, and all of these things. But I didn't really have a true relationship with me. And also around that time, when I started this journey, the other thing that happened, hi goddess, was I was trying to figure out my relationship with God because honestly I didn't feel like I had a good relationship with God I didn't feel like I knew God at all not in the way that I really really wanted to you know going to church and doing all those things I worked in the church I sung in the choir and don't get it twisted, I was not one of those Christians that sat in the pews that never picked up my Bible except when the pastor tells you turn to Psalms 1 and 5 or whatever. I was not. I read my Bible cover to cover a few times. But that relationship that I was seeking, I couldn't find it in the way that I was doing this walk so that's a heavy conflict between myself my higher self and the one that created me so when I went on this journey 
And I went on in search of Allison. I went on an Allison scavenger hunt. I'm like, okay, let's get to know this chick because I think she's probably pretty awesome, you know. <laughs> but I didn't have um uh not right now. <laughs> um I didn't have a relationship with myself. I didn't know who I was. So I went on a journey to find who I was. And in the midst of me going on this journey, that's where I found God. And I now understand that quote. And I, I know I'm misquoting this. But the woman said, I found God within myself and I loved her fiercely. And that is what happened to me. When I went on my journey to find myself, that's when I found God. That's when I understood because I had to learn about the chakras, the energy points. And when I got to the crown chakra, I understood that this is my connection to the creator. This is the place for which my higher self and my God connect. They connect and they have conversations. And then the messages come down through me. I finally got it. So when I pull a card that says prioritize your health, this card is saying prioritize your spiritual health. Prioritize your relationship with God, with your higher self, with your angels, with your ancestors, with your spirit guides. However your spirituality falls, whether you are a practicing Christian or Muslim or Catholic or um, you practice Yoruba or the, the Ifa, whether you are Hoodoo, Voodoo, Vodou, Voodoo, whether you are, I don't know what else. <laughs> but whatever your belief system is, I'm asking you now to do a check on your spiritual health. See if you have the kind of relationship that you desire to have with God, with spirit. Because if you don't, then you need to prioritize that. How do you prioritize that? I'm glad you asked. So it's kind of like when you are in a relationship, a romantic relationship. If you're in a romantic relationship, the key to that relationship is y'all spending time together, right? Well, if you're not spending time with God, if you're not taking time to commune or communicate through prayer, through meditation, fasting, through doing things that will get you connected to God and spending that time, prioritizing that time. That is how you prioritize your spiritual health. So that is how the connection through the crown chakra can work and I had something and I was going to bring it over here and I left it and I ain't getting up to get it <laughs> I have to tell y'all about it later but yes do those things that will prioritize you in connecting with your crown chakra which is you connecting with spirit so that is why you have to prioritize your health. It is your spiritual health that that card is calling. Take time to do that. Very important. All right. So that's the end of that message. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. I'm also going to pull another card to close us out, but I'm not closing just yet. And this is the African Goddess Affirmation Deck by Abiola Abrams. I'm very eager to get her new deck that's coming out in October. 
I can't wait. <laughs> um, so, I wanted to talk with you all about the podcast. Now, as you know, I've gone through many iterations of how to do this podcast. And I've enjoyed them all. But I've made the decision... No, I'm not ending the podcast. <laughs> but I've made the decision that um, I'm going to go back to the original format, which is me pre-recording and doing um, interviews. Because I miss that. I like doing interviews. I love doing interviews. You know, I don't mind getting on here and or on the podcast and talking because, you know, I like to talk. But I felt like it was more valuable when I had people on there. Not saying it's not valuable now, but it felt better and more aligned when I had people, when I had guests that I would interview. So I'm going to go back to that format. So since I'm going to be changing the format up, and it's, we're due for this anyway, I'm going to take the uh, podcast on the hiatus um, so that way it'll give me time and ability to prepare for the podcast um, because like I said, I'm going to be doing pre-recording so that means I got invitations to send out to people um, for them to accept the invitation or say, nah, I might. <laughs> um, so I have that. Then the next thing I have going on, which you can still be part of, class doesn't start until the 24th, which will be here before we know it. But August 24th is the first day. Enrollment ends on the 31st of August. So even after class has started, I'm still giving you a whole week after that to finally make your move and get on in this class and get your Reiki certification. So... The class starts on the 24th. Enrollment ends on the 31st. So you can still enroll and get your Reiki certification. The class is still open. I've got my first male student and I am excited. And I know he probably like, God, will she stop talking about me? No, I won't. <laughs> because I'm excited. Um, so if you are interested in learning Reiki, Go to the link in my bio. If you're watching this on the replay on IGTV, go to the link in my bio and go ahead and get enrolled. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on the podcast, go to um, the description or the show notes or whichever platform you're watching, however it's categorized. You know where all the words going to be that I talk about the episode. <laughs> go ahead and um, click on the link because it will be there. Click on that link and get yourself enrolled. Get in where you fit in because I'm telling y'all right now, after this class, when the six weeks is up, that price is going up because I'm adding more to the course. So you better get in now. Because I can't promise you that the next time that I launch and 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 have open enrollment again, that the price is going to be the way it is because I'm adding more. So you can still take advantage to what I'm at, what I'm adding at this price. So, and there is a payment plan if you need it. Okay. So let's see what card we got. That's going to take us out of here. This is the goddess of art, the goddess of art. And I am not going to try, well, I'll try to say her name. It's Wuriu Pranelli. I've messed it up. <laughs> but I love the affirmation, I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I am. I love that. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I was created to be. I am that I am. How spirited is that? So, 
podcast is about to go on, on hiatus, but don't fret. You can still go back and listen to all the other episodes. You can even reach all the way back <laughs> to the very beginning when it was the starting over at 40 podcast. They all still there. You can listen to them. It's there. Um, and thank you. I, I have to say this, like, for real, for real. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All of you who listen to the podcast, who share it, who, you know, send me messages and tell me how, you know, this particular episode helped you so much. Um, it was a message that you needed. It was right on time. You know, I get those messages, y'all, and I appreciate them so, 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 so much. Because what I know for sure is people don't have to be nice to you. People don't have to listen to my podcast. Well, you kind of do if it's <laughs> if it's calling to you and it's right and aligned. But in all seriousness, I'm appreciative. I'm grateful. So grateful. But more is coming. The best is coming. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But it is coming. So uh, I would say look to me, look for this to uh, start back in mid September. That way it gives me time to start recording because I've already started planning. Now it's just a matter of executing it. Um, so mid September, we should be good to go with some new episodes. And uh, I'm excited. So um, more information will come. I'm still going to do lives on Instagram. Um, still going to do some lives on Facebook as well, uh, because I just enjoy doing those things. So stay tuned and, uh, yeah, that's all I got. So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever time it is that you're listening to this. <laughs> and I will talk to you real soon. Bye for now.